Hey everybody, welcome back to the vlog. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate all of you. So it is Monday morning and today we're gonna to be talking about Zeiss. Well, we know that everyone is coming out with a mirrorless full frame camera, right guys? Well, Zeiss is no different. They now also will be coming out with a full frame mirrorless camera. Can you believe it? <laughs> but theirs is a little bit different. They're basing it around the ethos of shoot, edit, share. Very simple. It's going to be a fixed lens camera, completely different to any other full frame mirrorless camera on the market. So it is something to talk about, something to speak about, something to think about because it is so specific. I look at it as kind of the Swiss army knife of full frame mirrorless cameras and I'm gonna tell you why. So to start out with, it has a 37.4 full frame CMOS sensor. It also has a Zeiss 35 millimeter F2, very fast, F2 fixed lens. It has a leaf shutter as well as a physical exposure and ISO dial. It has a full HD OLED EVF. It also has a 4.34 inch touchscreen, massive LCD on the back, which is really nice. That LCD has 338 PPI, so the resolution is going to be absolutely amazing. It will shoot ISO 80 all the way up to 51,200, and it will top out at three FPS continuous shooting, so this will definitely not be for the sports guys out there. It also has 255 points of autofocus and no integrated flash, but it does have a hot shoe for external flash using the Sigma TTL flash protocol. I've never seen this before. It has integrated Adobe Lightroom CC, right? What? What? Yes, built-in Adobe Lightroom CC. That means you can do your all of your adjustments to exposure, to color. You can make selective edits. You can also sync your pictures all the way back over to your PC. Whatever you want to do right through Lightroom. It has built-in Wi-Fi as well as NFC and Bluetooth. So it has a ton of connectivity. Now, this connectivity is going to be great for doing direct cloud uploads. You can also use it for automatic backups to like a NAS, right? So that is kind of interesting. And you can also access your images on your camera through your network. Why is this important? Well, it doesn't have two card slots. It doesn't have one card slot. It doesn't have any card slots. It doesn't like green eggs and ham either. <laughs> it has a built-in 512 gigabyte SSD. So you need all this connectivity to be able to get those images off. Or of course you can use a USB-C adapter which is provided. Now that USB Type-C terminal is very important to this camera. Why? Because you use it for porting your images over to your computer, over to an external hard drive on the fly, or maybe sharing your video, sharing your screen with an external monitor or TV. You can also use it to plug in an external battery pack why is that important? Well, there is no batteries. There's one battery inside of the camera and that is it. You cannot replace them, okay? You do not have access to a battery. You do not have access to an SD card and you do not have access to additional lenses. It's simply all one package. So the question here, guys, is who is this camera for? Who would I say would want this camera? Now, we have to take price into consideration because we do not have price as of yet because that's gonna be a major, major part okay, of this puzzle. Is this going to be something that anyone will use? If it's priced too high, the answer is no. But if it's priced reasonably, this could be the perfect camera, for example, a reporter or a photojournalist, right, who needs to take a picture and immediately send it over to the command center, right? Now, instead of using an iPhone or some other type of Samsung or smartphone, you can use this and have that connectivity immediately. Just keep firing those images off into the cloud so that, like I said, your command center can use those on the fly. That is very, very important for many photographers, many photojournalists. Also, I can see this as a secondary or a tertiary camera for a wedding photographer. Now, why do I say that? Well, 
Back when I was doing like mitzvahs and weddings and all this stuff, we did something called photobilities. Now, what that was was an extra package we would sell to people. Now, that package would allow them to have their guest take home a memento. What that memento was, was an image, a photo from the event. What we did was we had a separate camera. We would take shots with that camera. Then we had a secondary guy that would grab the, the SD cards and or the CF cards and run them back to the person that had the computer, the laptop. Those people would download those SD cards or CF cards and give it back to the runner and the runner would run it back to the photographer, okay? Take those images, now do basic edits once imported into Lightroom and and then have those edits done, put them into a four by six type of uh, format and then shoot them off to a die sub where they would be printed. And then we had another guy taking those images and then loading them into nice frames. Now we had a big table and we would put all of those framed images out for when people left the event, they were able to pick up their photos. People love this stuff. They absolutely loved it. So this would be amazing for that because here you wouldn't need a runner running stuff back and forth, okay? It would immediately upload or the person on the computer could immediately log into the camera and download the stuff on the fly. That is really great and time-saving. Also, since it has built-in Lightroom, you can have someone actually doing this on the side because they can make the edits and the modifications and then just take the images off and print them taking another piece of the puzzle out of the mix. Whenever you do that, as we say, time is money. And if the client is happy with that type of those shots, like I said, photobilities, I mean, this could really be something impactful, especially if it's reasonable. And you can have one or two or maybe three of these going throughout an event. You can also have these things uploading into the cloud on the fly all the time. So now all of the guests would be able to access the images as they're coming out and also any guest that was not able to make it to the event would now be able to see what was going on immediately, almost in real time. Very, very cool. So anyways, like I said, this is the Zeiss ZX-1. Is it a camera for you? I don't know, but I wanna hear from you. Does it sound cool? Does it sound interesting? Do you like that it is like an all-encompassing type of Swiss army knife of a full-frame mirrorless camera? Does it have use as a purpose-built camera in comparison to all the other full-frame mirrorless cameras that are out there on the market now? So I wanna hear from you. Like I said, is it something for you? Is it not? Can you see some use for it? And what would be the price that would make it something worth looking at for you? So anyways, guys, that is it. That's my coverage for today with this Zeiss ZX-1. I thought it was really cool when I saw it and I had to share this story with you. So as always, if you enjoy my content, please throw me a big thumbs up. That would be awesome. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button so you can get all my content when it becomes available and click the bell icon so when it is available, you will be notified of it. And finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com where you can find all the photography tools that I've invented for you and me over the years. And hopefully there's something there that you might like. And if there is, please pick it up and support me. That's it, guys. I'm out of here. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.